One is uh, Krishi Gyan Sagar and Krishi Vani. That is mainly to ensure that the knowledge which is not reaching to the farmers should be ensured up to the farmer end. The last mile must be covered. And in this case, the model which we have put together in Bhujetna of the farm facilitators, that is the progressive educated farmers in the same village as, as an uh, link between the Department of Agriculture and the villagers to strengthen them with constant supply of new knowledge. So we are developing a tablet-based extension system through which they will continuously get the knowledge updated in local language in English, uh, Kannada as well as it will be available in English and that way the farm facilitators will not only depend on the trainings what they receive but also constant reference material with pictures and other things will be there. The second module in the Krishi Gyan Sagar is registering the farmers so that wherever the farmer facilitator is getting in contact with the farmer automatically his geo positioning is recorded. If he has contacted the farmer or participated in the training course, he takes a picture in the tablet, automatically it gets tagged that this is done at this time, on this time, date, at this location. By that way, we will have a monitoring and evaluation mechanism also for the such a massive program which is put in place in a coordinated manner. The third aspect is the report generation for the department. Once the farmers are registered, the crops are registered, the inputs whether they are, they are joining the Bhujetna scheme or they are getting under the pulses management scheme or under the horticulture micro mission project, that information will be recorded. So automatically at district level and at state level that data will be transmitted through the network and the reports can be generated. So that is the point what we are looking at is strengthening the two-way communication between the farm facilitators to provide the information to the farmers and also enable the department to get in touch with 10,000 farm facilitators which have been post, uh, put in the place in Karnataka for Bhujetna. The second module was Krishi Vani that is a, uh, basically the voicemail system which has been put in place in cooperation, collaboration with uh, Kisan uh, uh, Agros and uh, things by the uh, Airtel. Along with that, uh, we will be able to communicate the messages to the farm facilitators, recorded voice messages, and that messages farm facilitators can onward transmit to the farmers also. And the sustainability we are bringing in with the help of the Airtel green SIM card, that these SIM cards will be able to send the messages, receive the messages free of cost, but at the same time can be used for as an income generating activity by recharging the phones for the farmers in the villages. So the farm facilitator will have a source of income also along with what he or she is doing of farm facilitator's job. The two other projects which were launched today are the with the objective of developing a new model for convergence of the schemes of Department of Agriculture with the Watershed Development Department. And these two projects which are been funded by the uh, JSW Foundation and the Anandana are basically the integrated watershed management project in which we will be including even the safe use of wastewater in the villages to have, not only to address the issue of water scarcity but also the human health and how the convergence can benefit the farmers by putting all things together like horticulture, agriculture, livestock and other things which is the main purpose of the Pujetna Plus. Thank you very much.